After the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe versus Wade, voters appeared incensed enough to give Democrats the momentum they needed heading into the midterms. But with the election just days away, high inflation and its effects on the economy appear to be boosting Republicans' chances across the country. Well, for more, we're joined by Yahoo Finance senior columnist Rick Newman. So, Rick, talk about these latest findings we're seeing. We just showed the chart showing that inflation has actually been improving gradually. The peak was at 9% in June. It's now down to 8.2%, probably going to fall down to around 8% in the next report next week. But uh, consumers actually are getting more worried about inflation, not less worried. And I dug into a thick series of surveys the Census Bureau does on a regular basis to gauge how people are doing. They started this after, uh, after COVID. And uh, it shows that more people say they are having trouble uh, paying for bit daily bills now than said so in June when inflation was actually higher and it's considerably higher than it was a year ago. So I think this uh, says two things. One, I think it says um, the longer inflation lasts, the more worried people get about it, as they probably should, because it's not just going to come and go. It's going to be here and we're going to have sustained price hikes for a long time. And I think there probably is also a cumulative impact on family budgets. So when prices go up and stay up, um, it just is draining and draining and draining over time. So maybe, maybe you know, a lot of families can handle one month of higher than expected costs. But when that goes on month after month after month, um, it gets tougher. And the same survey by the Census Bureau also shows that more people now are tapping into savings or putting everyday expenses on credit cards. So I think this is why you have seen voters, even as gas prices come down, other bills are going up and voters know that. I mean, they are seeing this every week when they pay bills. And uh, this is why Biden just cannot catch a break, even though other parts of the economy, notably the job market and the numbers we got today are pretty good. So I think, uh, I mean, we have seen Democratic odds of holding on to Congress just deteriorating uh, for the last month or so. And barring a miracle, they're going to lose either one or uh, both houses next week. Yeah, and Rick, speaking of this momentum that we certainly have seen with the GOP party here as of recent weeks, there's an Axios report out earlier today saying that Trump was potentially eyeing an announcement of the 2024, of his 2024 presidential run on November 14th. I'm just curious, just your reaction to this and just what this signals here for Republicans over the next two years. My reaction is, let the circus begin, baby. <laughs> let's, let's get started. <laughs> Uh, this is this is not necessarily good for Republicans. Uh, so there's a lot going on behind the scenes here. First of all, uh, many people who are following the never ending Trump spectacle think there's a good chance uh, the federal government could bring charges against him for uh, for his mishandling of classified documents down at his home in Florida after he left the White House. He was not supposed to have classified documents. He did. Uh, we, that could have been quite alarming. Um, and the it, Trump uh, probably, as it's almost part of his legal defense, you can imagine uh, that he wants to make himself a presidential candidate uh, if the Justice Department is going to go after him so that it makes it look as if it's purely political, which it is not, by the way. He's also facing a very serious lawsuit in Georgia over possible election fraud. Uh, there's a grand jury on that with possible charges by sometime next year. Again, Trump probably thinks it will help him out if this looks politically motivated because he's a political candidate being prosecuted by a Democrat in Fulton County, uh, Atlanta. So there's that element to it. Then there's the whole question of will Florida Governor Ron DeSantis try to run in uh, 2024 as well, perhaps a more conventional campaign, not launched uh, two years ahead of time, but maybe more like 18 months or one year ahead of time, which would put uh, Trump and DeSantis um, at uh, odds with each other. So that would probably be quite a smackdown. And let's just make sure everybody understands, Trump's standing in the Republican Party has declined. Uh, I think there are polls now that say a majority of Republicans say Trump should not run again. So if he does run, it is by no means uh, a given that he would win.